the Forbes article a couple of years ago. Um, what was the effect of that, not only on you personally, but professionally? I mean, did your life change any at all after that? I mean, that was a big article. Uh, we, we debated it internally, whether to participate or not, but they contacted us and said, we're going to write an article regardless if you participate. Oh, wow, so, <laughs> oh, that's aggressive. I told the, uh, the writer, I said, uh, you know, what I've read is about half the people on the Forbes list are wanting to be on the Forbes list and embellishing and everything. Yeah. The other half are like threatened to sue you to not be on the Forbes <laughs> list. And, yeah. and I'm somewhere in that middle camp. But Roy Carroll is not in the middle camp when it comes to his company's many local projects. From the Centerpoint Luxury Apartments and Office High Rise in downtown Greensboro, to the Hyatt Place Hotel and the adjacent Carroll at Bellmead Luxury Apartment community a few blocks away to the thousands of apartments his company built and currently manages, to multiple be safe self-storage facilities and one of his newest exercises in diversification, car caves, where car enthusiasts like himself can buy car condo-like spaces to store their expensive rides. He's even developing industrial properties, which recently included the site on which the $400 million Publix Distribution Center in eastern Guilford County now sits. That was a huge deal for the triad. I mean, that's uh, 2,000 2, jobs when built out and everything. Right. In uh, East Greensboro, where the jobs were needed. Yes, no, so, still are, yes. Yeah, so we're, you know, we're involved in that. And then... Uh, you know, we're, we're looking at things constantly, analyzing new ventures. Is the news and record property something you would be interested in? Not not right now, necessarily. I, we, we did make an offer, I don't know if you remember, to Warren Buffett. Uh, yes. To buy, not just the part property, exactly. but the paper, too. Yes, uh, I remember that. We never got much of a response on that, but uh, <laughs> they may regret that one day. Yeah. You and I talked about that last time. <laughs> That's yes, right. you did. That's right. Yeah. It was, a, it was a sincere offer, but... Uh, no, right now we, we have our plate full downtown Greensboro project with South, South of Ballpark. That South of Ballpark project, for which the company's currently taking construction bids, will wrap around the parking deck the city's built across from the ballpark and take the name Carroll at Parkside. The Carroll Companies calls this project at $155 million in development costs the largest project in the history of downtown Greensboro. It'll include luxury apartments, meeting space, and that's not all. The AC Hotel is going to be a, a fabulous hotel addition to downtown Greensboro with a, a rooftop restaurant. It's going to be, you know, we've, it's going to be one of the best in the area. And then there's the 140,000 square foot former Macy's Department Store building on Hornaday Road near Guilford College Road and Interstate 40. Carroll bought this place in early 2022 and is planning another be safe storage facility here along with a cold storage concept he's calling be cool. If you don't want to buy the big freezer and have it in your house or whatever, you can buy a freezer area or at least a freezer area at Be Cool. Restaurants can, you know, we have larger areas too, and restaurants can can utilize this. And we'll see how it goes. It's it's so new, it may be a big flop, but sometimes we do flops. You know, we don't we don't, uh, you know, people don't typically interview me about the big flops, but we have some flops too. Well, but we try to do we try yeah. you know we try to do them in our backyard so we can learn from those right. experiences right. and everything. You may also remember Carol bought this property off West Friendly and Hobbs Road near Friendly Center five years ago. It's where another developer once talked about building a Trader Joe's, but neighborhood resistance killed that project. Carroll says he put plans for this tract on hold during COVID, but is now considering a mixed development that will include restaurants, but no big retail stores with big parking lots. When do you think an, you might be in a position to make an announcement? Hopefully about in the next 90 days. Really? I mean, Are you serious? Whoa. We're, we're real okay. time with architects. Okay, figure, figure this site out. And so okay. we've gone from it's on the shelf and dormant to let's take it off the shelf and Look at moving forward. With. In fact, moving forward is an accurate way to describe Carol's seemingly never ending influence in Greensboro. It is our hometown. This this right. this community's been very good to me and my family and we want to give back.